Welcome to the webinar today on Planning Healthcare for the Homeless Day 2013. My name is Brian Zralik. I'm the Consumer Advocate at the National Healthcare for the Homeless Council. This webinar is produced by National Healthcare for the Homeless Council with support from the Health Services and Resources Administration, Bureau of Primary Health, Office of National Assistance and Special Populations. The content of this webinar does not necessarily reflect the official position of HRSA. Despite this being a pre-recorded webinar, we still invite your questions. You can email me any questions uh, with my email address at the end of this presentation. So I will be presenting today along with Amy Grissett. Amy is the former chair of the National Consumer Advisory Board. She will be talking about her experience in her Healthcare for the Homeless project with Healthcare for the Homeless Day. Today's webinar will introduce ideas for how you can celebrate HCH Day, which is in the middle of Health Center Week. Health centers play an important role in connecting people to care and support communities in other ways, like jobs. In 2011, 1,128 community health centers operated more than 8,500 service delivery sites that provided care to approximately 20.2 million patients in every state, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Pacific Basin. 30%, 36% of these individuals have no health insurance. There are also 248 HCH grantees these health centers are designated to provide health care to individuals experiencing homelessness. In 2011, those health centers served 825,295 individuals. 62% of individuals served by HCH clinics are uninsured. Health, health Center Week and HCH Day recognize the work that health centers do to ensure that despite insurance, everyone has access to health care. In 2012, as you can see here, there was a lot of activity surrounding Health Center Week, including a resolution from President Obama, recognizing the role that community health centers play in connecting individuals and families across the country to care. In 2012, there was also broad recognition of National Health Center Week, including from 11 governors and numerous other officials. There's also extensive media coverage of different events celebrating the work of health centers. And now we're going to dive a little bit more into health care for the homeless day. We're going to talk about some ideas for your event. Um, there are many things you can do. One of the probably most popular things is hosting a health fair with screenings. Um, different activities like tables, to do testing, to do screenings, outreach, opportunities for kids, events, lots of things you can do with the health, care, health fair. Um, you can make signs and hold a rally in public places, uh, making sure to have proper permits first, of course. You can also hold a clinic open house. It's an opportunity to show off the activities and operations that take place in your HCH project. You can conduct voter registration. This is a good opportunity to target people who otherwise might not know that they can vote and sign them up to register. You can also have an event, incorporate music, food, beverages, um, street kits, other opportunities for consumers to talk about what Healthcare for the Homeless does for them. This is also a great opportunity to engage public officials, a uh, great way to show off the services that your HCH provides and make sure that public officials are aware of that and that media can capture that uh, interaction between public officials and your HCH. So we're going to go into a few more details now about some of these ideas. This being 2013, Medicaid outreach is a big opportunity. Um, HCH, fall, HCH Day falls just um, 
two months before the beginning of enrollment, open enrollment for Medicaid. It's a great opportunity to raise awareness about health care reform and changes which will make health insurance available to people who are currently uninsured. As mentioned before, 62% of HCH clients are uninsured. Without insurance, their access to health care is greatly impeded. Um, in states that have chosen to expand Medicaid, though, to citizens under 138% of the federal poverty level, almost all homeless people will become Medicaid eligible on January 1st. Now, there are non-expansion states as well. So in these states, the very poorest people, that means under 100% of the poverty level, will remain uninsured and dependent on health centers, emergency rooms, and charity clinics for their health care. On HCH Day 2013, there will be different priorities for different states, depending on whether or not Medicaid is being expanded. In states where Medicaid is being ex expanded, all HCH projects should be preparing to help reach and enroll all clients. There are also unfavorable copays that individuals who qualify for insurance exchanges might be expected to pay. This is another advocacy opportunity. In the states that have not yet chosen to expand Medicaid, the critical task will be con convincing state governments to do the right thing and to move forward with Medicaid expansion. We'll provide more resources at the end of this presentation for you to find out if your state is expanding and to learn more about health reform advocacy. So we, I mentioned the health fair. Health fair is a great opportunity to do some outreach, to engage people, engage clients, people who may not otherwise know about your health center. Um, you can have fitness tests, blood pressure screenings, diabetic testing, HIV or other infectious disease testing, immunizations. You can hand out diabetic socks, first aid kits, important things like nutritious snacks, water, electrolyte replacements. Uh, of course, this being the summer, it's definitely a, a time where these sorts of things are probably in high demand. This is also an opportunity to get local companies uh, involved in providing these sorts of things, a good, good way for them to market what they do and to show that they are generous and involved in the community. So it's also a good, good chance to demonstrate what services are offered at your HCH project. Think about showing off and providing materials that, that mention the variety of services that you provide. As we were saying, you know, many people publicly may not be aware of all the services that your HCH provides to the community. Another great opportunity here is to have a rally. Um, you can make signs and go to public spaces. As mentioned earlier, it's important to make sure that you have permits, so it's completely above board uh, when you have a rally. The rally is an, a, a time when you can hand out information about your HCH, again, letting the general public know more about what important services you provide. This is also an opportunity to engage people and see if they are interested in volunteering, helping out at your, at your clinic. Um, this is also another great opportunity to raise awareness about Medicaid expansion opportunities, whether your state is moving forward or not. Um, it's a good way to let the public know why insurance is important to you and to your health center and to the people that your health center serves. The open house is another option. You can host an open house, including service providers, invite public officials to show them, that, show them what you do and how you do it, explain what services are missing in the community as well. What do you need to make that happen? What are the unmet needs, maybe that your project is just not able to cover, or maybe it's a new issue that has come up recently in the community, 
and your HCH is doing its best to address those needs. However, there may be need for more attention to that publicly or maybe more funding. So the open house is a good way to engage people, public officials, funders, uh, anybody that comes through. It's also a good chance to talk about the work of consumer advisory boards, to talk about why consumer advisory boards are important, to meet CAB members. Who are they? What do they do? Maybe they can tell a little bit of their story. It may be an opportunity as well for CAB members or HCH uh, staff to talk about how the public can help the CAB. Maybe community members can donate to provide for certain needs that the CAB has, whether that's lunches or you know a particular project, um, help promote some of the work that the CAB is doing. Uh, the public may be interested in volunteering to help partic to participate in CAB activities, to attend CAB meetings if they are open to the public. We also see this as a great opportunity to celebrate. Healthcare for the Homeless projects uh, deliver services that are vital to the community that, that don't get recognized. And so this is a great opportunity for people who have received those services, the people that provide those services, and the public, anybody who's concerned or anybody who wants to know. It's a good time to come and come together and celebrate, have fun. You can have music, games, food, bouncy house, houses for children, um, get creative, offer an open mic, so individuals who have experienced services at the project or who work there can talk about, about those services, talk about what the clinic means to them. So it's a, it's a chance to kind of give a testimony on the power of the HCH in their community. This is also another opportunity to invite public officials, um, perhaps a way for people to kind of let their hair down and, and talk and get to know each other a little bit. Also another opportunity to involve corporate sponsors to offer their goods and services, maybe to donate food, um, t-shirts, anything like that to both show their support for the services that the, the center provides as well as to expose people to them. Again, we've talked about public officials' involvement. Um, in case your public official cannot make it, you can offer them a proclamation that you draw up, write a piece on their website. You can invite them to speak either at your event or at another time. You can also ask them to write an op-ed um, in support of your Healthcare for the Homeless project and its services, um, mentioning that the Healthcare for the Homeless project provides a safety net for individuals who are, who are vulnerable in the community. It's also an opportunity, going back to health reform, to thank your elected official if he or she supported the Affordable Care Act and if your state is moving forward with Medicaid expansion. Uh, it's a chance to highlight the impact that Medicaid will have on HCH services and the individuals served. If your state is not expanding, on the other hand, or your elected official opposes Medicaid expansion, it's still a great opportunity, uh, an important opportunity, to touch on the importance, the impact of the new health care policies that, that they would have for your Health Care for the Homeless project and the individuals who use its services. A few other ideas still, um, kind of a theme day um, featuring kids' health, women's health, men's health, diabetes, kind of any, any um, condition maybe that's more prevalent in your community to, to highlight causes or to highlight efforts that your project has in addressing these things. You can have an award ceremony honoring policymakers, honoring staff, board members, volunteers, leaders in the community, patient advocates. 
It's also an opportunity, as I've mentioned, to involve consumers, to recognize consumers. Who are those individuals who are leading your consumer advisory board? What role do they play? And what have what impact has the leadership, their leadership had on your project? What have they been through? Oftentimes people who are, are in these positions, in the leadership positions, whether on cabs or on on boards, they've been through a lot. They've experienced some uh, life-saving or life-changing services at the at the project. So it's a good opportunity maybe for them, if they're comfortable, to tell their story, to talk about how the services have helped shape their lives. So now I'd like to hand the mic over to Amy Grissett from Family Health Center in Worcester, Massachusetts. Amy? Thank you, Brian. So I've worked at um, Family Health Center for about eight years after coming out of homelessness. I started to volunteer here and then got hired. And one of the things that I've been involved with is the health fair that we uh, have every year during Community Health Center Week. So I've been involved in the planning of that event every year um, as a way to be involved um, in that week in, in health care for the homeless day. Um, sometimes we pick a theme for the year. Um, last year we did a theme having to do with the Olympics, so we had a lot of sports um, events for the kids. Um, this year, we're uh, doing a theme called We Are All Family. Um, so some of the things that we typically do at the health fair is we have departments within the health center that come out and have booths, such as our care coordination program, um, who come out and do blood pressure checks. They do finger sticks. We also have an HIV team here who does um, rapid testing, so we have that available for patients. We also try to get children immunized who are um, uh, lacking on their immunizations on that day, and so we'll ask parents to bring their kids, and um, we take care of that inside the health center. Um, we do typically invite congressmen um, and senators to come and speak. We've had uh, Congressman McGovern several times from Worcester, other local community people as well. Um, her, our HRSA representative is usually here and speaks um, at the beginning of the health fair. And so we try to reach out to many of those sorts of people who also support the health center in, in many ways. Um, we don't typically have a blood drive, although we do have Red Cross that comes and sets up a table and gives information. And we invite all sorts of agencies from within our, our community, the Boys and Girls Club, the YMCA, other health organizations that come in and set up booths with information but also have things that they give away to patients. So patients always go away with a, a bag of goodies. Um, it's really about the patients and our way to thank them. And so we try to get as much activity going that day. Typically, we're, the health fair is from 11 to 3. We have a fire truck that comes so the kids can experience that whole um, thing about um, talking to the firemen, getting on the fire truck. Um, we have policemen from the city that come in and do bike safety. Um, and then we have all sorts of uh, activities for kids, like face painting, uh, snow cone machine, um, we do races, we've done baby crawling contests, and so it really is about the kids and making it be a fun day. Um, something else exciting that we do every year is all of our departments get together and put together a raffle basket, and then those go out the day of the health fair, and people are able to sign up for those raffles, which are free. And more exciting than that is we get local places like a Walmart and Kmart and things to donate some bicycles to us. So that, that's always the big thing of the day. And seeing those kids' faces um, when they win a bike is just incredible. Um, we have a local hockey team here in Worcester, so we invite them, their mascot to come. And sometimes they bring uh, a shot, um, a, a thing that they, the kids can hit, the hockey pucks. We've had basketball. Um, 
hoops that kids can play with. We've had bouncies. And so every year we try to change it a little bit and add to it. Um, we do offer healthy snacks and fruit that we get donated. We also have our WIC department on site, and so we do corn on the cob on the grill every year. That's always a big hit. Um, and so what I do every year is I usually do the raffle, and people have come to know me from doing that. Um, and so people typically line up and sign up for these raffles. They get so many tickets, and they go around and put their tickets in uh, whichever items that they hope they're going to win. Um, so it's a really, really fun day, and I've been lucky and privileged to be involved in the planning of this for the last eight years, and um, it's just a wonderful way to give back to our patients. Um, so now I'm going to hand the mic back to Brian. So we've heard a lot about Healthcare for the Homeless Day. We've heard some great examples from Amy about how Healthcare for the Homeless Day can be fun. Uh, you can incorporate themes. You can have lots of testing and immunization opportunities. Invite elected officials. Involve them. Invite your your HRSA representative. Um, lots of things you can do. So some consumers have also made comments about HCH Day. Um, some of them. HCH Day is a, is a day for us to honor those who assist us. We do an event in our city every year. It's a way for us to say thank you to those who don't hear it enough. And it helps the community know about what our HCH project does and how they help people like me get off the streets and into housing. And I'm sure that there are consumers who have experienced services at your HCH project who have similar feelings, and um, it, it, it really has an impact, the services that are provided, and HCH Day is just a great way to, to let the public know about that and really solidify the work that's already being done. So with that, we will bring the webinar to a close. We thank you for viewing the webinar today. Um, we provide these resources to you for you to learn more about Health Center Week, learn more about HCH Day 2012, and find out as well regarding uh, health care reform and Medicaid expansion. Find out if your state is moving forward with Medicaid expansion. You can visit the website here. You can also learn more about health reform and Medicaid expansion and what you can do, what your project can do to advocate for expanded Medicaid and services to really help your clients out. And that is it for our web webinar today. Please email me if you have any questions or ideas, or if you have pictures from your event. We'd love to have those. We'd also like to have your feedback. Uh, let us know how this webinar was for you, if it was helpful. Please click the Survey Monkey link here and let us know how it was. Thank you very much and have a great HCH day.